Black Clover is finally letting some other Magic Knight captains get some screen time. <laughs> Finally! But I do gotta say, things kinda go left this chapter, but we're gonna get into that later. Now, if you could open your grimoire and use your mana on that like button, I'd greatly appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, this chapter, we get to see Mary Oleona go up against Morris. Leaving off from last chapter, of course, where she got her arm blown off. And this was right after Jack was taken out as well. <gasps> yeah, things are not looking good for the Magic Knights. I'm fighting for my life! Y'all killing me with this! Although all isn't lost because Mary Leona still has Hellfire Incarnate up her sleeve, which she then activates and she conjures up an arm out of mana like it was nothing. What damage? What attack? I said, I swear. She's right back at it going in for the attack. It's cool too because this is just like what Fuegoleon did. He had his entire arm taken off and he conjured up a new one made entirely out of flames. So like brother like sister. And Morris here was shocked to see that because he's never seen a human body come so close to mana itself. And we get an explanation here of Morris's new abilities. I'm kind of curious about this because I wasn't exactly sure what he's been given because he looks a lot different here. He says my operation which was gifted to me by Lucius Sama allows me to disintegrate anything I touch. Oh, so he's on some Shigaraki timing here, and that's including magic. So he basically just has the power to destroy anything in his path. And he, of course, has a regeneration factor as well, and it far exceeds Mariel Leona's. So he says, I wonder just how long your physical body will be able to hold out. So this is a pretty interesting matchup because he already got a hidden on her and took out a limb, but she grew it back with mana. And she's, of course, barraging him with attacks, destroying his limbs, but he can regenerate on a much higher scale. So this is interesting. This is definitely one of those battles where in order to counteract that regeneration you'd have to use a very lethal attack that just straight up obliterates a large area but i would say Marilyn is more than capable of that especially with hellfire incarnate one of the magic knights here says the only way to fight him is for mario leona to burn him up to a crisp with their flames which is what i was thinking yeah you pretty much have to incinerate him completely let me see if we play goalie on here with the salamander and he's putting in some work against these angels and he's taking on multiple of them at a time yeah that just shows the disparity between the magic knight captains and the magic knights <laughs> We've seen in previous chapters where multiple magic knights had to gang up on the angels and they still needed aid against them. But here we see the magic knight captains not only going up against the paladins, but taking on multiple angels. So this is definitely a fight that's, if you're just not at a certain tier, you pretty much don't contribute much to the battle. But Fuegoleon does have his work cut out for him, because as we see here, he does seem to have taken some damage. And the other Magic Knights here even admit, like, man, we're members of the Crimson Lion Kings, is there anything we could do? Nope. They see that sister-brother duo putting in the work out there, but they can really only watch from a distance. And as we see here, yeah, Mario Leona is still going crazy here against Morris. And he seems to have her cornered here, which is bad. But here come in two other magic knights that shield her from the attack. My help! My God! Help me! And they pretty much sacrifice themselves for her sake as they say we'll leave the rest to you and she doesn't even hesitate to put in another attack although it looks like she hit them as well but considering they got hit with his magic they're we're pretty much gonna get destroyed anyway but yeah that's crazy because that's really all they can do here because mary leona and fuegoleon really only are, are the ones with enough firepower to do damage so they really just had to throw themselves in there as human shields and mary leona here is pumped up because now this is getting personal she they're straight up taking out our comrades. Now what's crazy here is the other Magic Knights here should to decide like, yeah, we gotta shield Mary Oleona cause she has to get in there. So they're going in there and they're saying we gotta ensure her attacks connect. And they're just jumping in there getting taken out with ease. They're dropping like flies. This is crazy. What kind of place is this? But that's how you really know the stakes are high because instead of just sitting on the sidelines and watching, they feel like it would be more valuable to just throw their lives away just for the chance that the Magic Knight captains can get in on that window of opportunity. Jeez, you got serious for real. I do what I say, this is a lot more impressive than his feet back in the Spade Kingdom arc. Because before, he really wasn't that impressive. I mean, he did defeat Dorothy, which is pretty impressive. Although after that, the Black Bulls came in and pretty much destroyed him. So it was like... It was a short-lived victory, but here we can definitely see much better feats from him. It said here, although there's gotta be a weak point to this. Of course, he is a Paladin, but you know, he's definitely not on Lucius's level. He definitely does have a weakness somewhere. It is said here that his regeneration and disintegration cannot be infinite. 
he must have a limit. Wei Guangan here says that elder sister realizes this and is playing him at his own game. Because of course, Mary Oleona, she's been around the block. She's been a Magic Knight captain for quite a amount of time. She's been in battle. She has experience, so she knows just how to counteract a magic ability, even if it has an advantage against her. Morse was going on about how foolish they are and how Lucius Sama is gonna- We do not care. And then Mary Oleona is just like, yeah, shut up already, you puppet. You're not the main antagonist here. And she starts spitting as she says, the ferocious Crimson Lion Kings will not be held to the mercy of your incomprehensible rubbish. The stronger my firepower gets, these are the flames they stoked. With Hellfire Incarnate, the more I fight, the stronger my firepower gets. And here, as I was saying earlier, you know, you need a lethal attack. And this is what she whips out. She whips out Calidus Brachium Purgatory incineration now there was multiple translations for this and there was one that says cremation i do prefer that one i'm not gonna lie calidus brachium purgatory cremation like imagine being able to cremate somebody while they're alive that's tough that's tough right there although incineration i think that is a bit more consistent so i guess we will go with that one i do prefer the other one though and she says here on the sacrifice of my fallen squad members i swear i will burn you to death are you with the mr woman huh? No! As we can see Morris's face right there, he don't look so tough no more. The boy's like, oh, she didn't turn it up to 1000. But yeah, that definitely was a nice battle to see. It's always good to see Mary Oleona in action. She's always gonna put on a show. I also do gotta say, the battles are getting so heated now. Like the stakes are just climbing and climbing. I really feel like Tabata kind of spared everyone's lives up until now so that he can unveil like a huge war and they just have everything just unfold in one big explosion. And I feel like that's what's unfolding here right now. Because before it was like, he really didn't want nobody dying. But now it's like people were dropping like flies. Jack just got off the last chapter, or as far as we know. And then we just see the bunch of magic knights just sacrifice themselves for Mary and Leona. Man, it's crazy how the tables have turned. But yeah, if you made it this far, I appreciate you sticking around. If you could leave a like on the video, I greatly appreciate that. Consider subscribing as well. You'll enjoy it here, I promise. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.